Hi, I'm Dr. Emma from Simple Physical Literacy. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below or watch the videos on retained primitive reflexes on our video gallery on simplephysicalliteracy.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the hand and foot reflexes, the Palmer, Planter and Babinski. Now the Palmer, Planter and Babinski reflexes are very handy as infants for grasping and particularly if you're a primate and want to hang off the fur on your mom's back like a baby orangutan as the mom crawls through the jungle and the little baby monkeys hang off their back um, or hanging off a branch. If this reflex doesn't integrate for a human though and you've got a grasp reflex, a palmer reflex, when you put your finger into the centre of a baby's palm they'll grasp it tightly. But if it doesn't go away and you put a pencil into the centre of a child's hand that still has this reflex, they'll grasp it really tightly. Their handwriting will be illegible, they'll have a lot of tension in their hands, in their shoulders, and it will be really difficult to learn to write. It will have a real impact on their fine motor skills and they'll have poor manual dexterity. Similarly, for the plantar reflex in the foot, if you put your finger into the ball of the foot on a baby, their toes will curl under. Now, if that doesn't go away or if it's not integrated, when that baby is learning to walk, their toes will be curling under like that. So it would be difficult for them to learn to walk. Or when they start to put on shoes, their toes will curl under like that and it'll be hard to put on shoes. It's, it's harder to learn to walk, to get balance and coordination in the legs, the gross motor skills. And as an adult, they often have a lower back pain and instable, instable ankles, so they have loose ankles and are inclined to get um, ankle twists. The Babinski reflex is also a foot reflex, and if um, it's stimulated up the side of the foot, from the heel up to the toe, the baby's toes will curl under. Now, the Babinski reflex is very important for de developing stability, balance and grounding. A child who has that reflex retained will often be flat footed or might toe walk or might walk on the outside of the feet. So learning to walk properly on the feet becomes difficult. They have a lot of tension up their calves and up their legs and they can have hip problems later on. So it's really one to watch for in an infant if you notice anything funny going on with their feet, tension the legs because it can have an impact on the hips. We will talk in the next video about how the hands and feet reflexes and the mouth reflexes are all interconnected and how um, both the reflexes of the Palmer, Planter and Babinski can have such an impact on fine motor skills, on manual dexterity and then really how the mouth can have an impact on fine motor skills and dexterity too which is very interesting. So please keep tuned for the next video on hand, foot and mouth reflexes. In the meantime, keep moving and keep well. Thank you.